The General Data Protection Regulation, also known as GDPR, will come into effect on May 25th. Starting from this day, companies will need to document the purposes for storing and processing personal data, the legal basis for doing so, and the sources where personal data was collected from. Before you set up privacy settings in SuperOffice CRM, you need to decide what your company's privacy policy is. In other words, you need to determine the ways your company will gather, use, and manage your contact's personal data. Once you've outlined your privacy policy, you can configure your SuperOffice solution to support these privacy rules using the consent management features in SuperOffice CRM. In this video, we will show you how to set up privacy settings for GDPR in SuperOffice. You will need to have the administrator's rights to do this. You will learn how to add and edit purposes for processing personal data, how to activate default settings for the legal basis, and how to activate the e-marketing privacy settings in mailings. To open privacy settings, log into SuperOffice and go to the settings menu in the top right corner of your screen. Then choose settings and maintenance in the menu that appears. You are now in the settings and maintenance section. Click on privacy in the navigation menu on the left. Here you will see a list of all the purposes tracked with consent in your database. The default settings in SuperOffice include two purposes for processing personal data, sales and service, and e-marketing. Sales and service suggests that the reason you store personal data in your CRM solution is that you want to sell and or service the contact with your products and services. The second, called e-marketing, means that your purpose for storing the information is that you want to send e-marketing mailings to a person. You can keep, edit, or delete these purposes to fit your company's privacy policy. If you need to add a new purpose, just click Add at the bottom left corner of the list. The Add Consent Purpose dialog will appear. Let's pretend that your company has determined to send promotional text messages and this is not a consent you have already obtained. You will want to create a new purpose to track this new permission. Start by giving the new purpose a name. Please notice that SuperOffice automatically generates a purpose ID for you. It is a field that uniquely identifies a particular purpose and is mainly used for integrating with external applications. Next, enter the text you want to use for the tooltip in the description box. This information is for internal use only. The fields for external information relate only to the personal web page where your contacts can manage their subscriptions. Adding a name and a URL here will appear in this page and is only something you need to do for the e-marketing purpose in your solution. So for this purpose, we will not include anything here. To activate your new purpose inside SuperOffice CRM, you can tick the box here. You may also wait and activate it later in the Privacy Setting Overview screen. A note on languages. If you have users that use SuperOffice in a different language, you have the option to add your purpose in multiple languages. When you click on the AX logo, you can add the translation for all of the 15 user languages that SuperOffice CRM supports. When you have added all the necessary information, click Save. Your new purpose is now ready to be used. You can see which purposes are currently used in the column Active. Here, you can also activate or deactivate this purpose. If you wish to remove certain purposes from the list, you can either click to make them inactive or you can remove them by deleting them. Note that you will always have the possibility to restore deleted items later if you change your mind. To make it easier for your users to follow your privacy rules, you can also set a default legal basis that can be used every time your users create a new person in SuperOffice. Using such a default setting also ensures that all contacts are documented with a legal basis and that no contact is forgotten. Your users can always change the default legal basis on a specific contact card when needed. Check the box where it says Set Default Legal Basis. In the drop-down list that appears, choose the legal basis that your company wants to use as default. Finally, there is an option available in mailing that allows you to automatically filter out the recipients who have not given their consent to be sent e-marketing communication and those with no subscription to the type of mailing you are about to send. To activate this feature, tick the box for e-marketing privacy and you will ensure that no mailing is sent accidentally to the persons who have not agreed to receive mailings. Click Save to save your new settings. We have now shown you how to set up your privacy settings for GDPR in SuperOffice CRM. For more information on how to improve your productivity with SuperOffice, please visit our community website.